Hello pool friends out there. Today I want to show you for sure one of the weirdest methods to check if your stance, your aiming and your stroke work out perfectly together. And I got myself some help of my pocketed team member Mike Mosler. He is an incredible player but not a big talker. As you can see. So the aim of this video is to introduce you to a pre-shot routine. At first glance it might look completely crazy and it makes no sense, but if you think it through a little bit more, you might understand that it's valuable and crucial. And I want to show you a video of how I got introduced to it and that was 2008, back in the days when I had my first practice session with Jasmine Ocean. Let's have a look. Yeah, and to make this clear, that's not the way you want to play in a match or that's not the way you should play in a match. This is a pure practice exercise. So in this case, we start out with straight shots and Jasmine highlights once more that I'm only allowed to do one pre-stroke before I pull the trigger. That's what I'm doing, center ball, one stroke and potting the ball. Yeah, and then switching to the other side and you see or you will see that I'm going to miss this ball, but that's valuable feedback as well because you know something did not work out right. In the next sequence you will see that I'm doing more than one pre-strokes, like here, a little bit in slow motion once more you see I'm doing a little bit of adjustments here and Jasmine just orders me in this case to stand up again. Yeah, and then we start out with a little bit more difficult shots, a little bit more angled shots. You will also see that I'm going to miss this one because look at my elbow and my stroke as well. So I'm really doing something wrong here. My alignment doesn't fit, whatever. That's something you should look into later in more detail. I'm just adjusting how I approach the ball and boom, I'm potting the ball with no problems. And then on the other side, just doing it a little bit more difficult, different angle, different pocket, just trying to do the same once more. You see, I pocket this ball in this case, and then just doing it a little bit more difficult, maybe trying to use or to be forced to use different bridges as well. And you will see I'm really missing this badly, also because of my stroke delivery, maybe adjusting a little bit more, so hitting the ball a little bit more to the right, adjusting my body movement and potting the ball. Mike and myself, we want to show you right now how you can implement this into your training and get better in the combination and in the evaluation of your stance, your aiming and your stroke. Because actually the pre-shot routine decides if you will make the shot or not. So we want to show you how it normally looks like. So a player walks into the shot, he's checking the angle first, then goes back, tries to walk into the shot, like Mike is showing right now. He is doing his warm up, his practice strokes, and once he feels comfortable, he's pulling the trigger and pots the ball. So, and right now, I'll just show it from the other side. So, Mike is checking on the angle of the stroke. He goes back, goes down on the table doing his warm-up strokes and once he feels comfortable he just hits the ball and pots the ball. So the goal is once you decided that you go down to shoot your ball you should not move your body at all anymore. So Mike is currently next to the table and now he's going to move into the shot and as you can see right here he's not going to do any warm-up stroke he's just going to do one warm-up stroke and potting the ball. So Mike is now standing next to the table he's checking his angles and now he's going down on the table and as you can see right now his body is not moving anymore everything is aligned his bridge hand is not moving nothing at all he's just doing one warm-up stroke and then he pots the ball. So thanks Mike for the first shots. He's still a little bit weird because he doesn't talk to me, but that's how it is. 
And the goal of the exercise is that you see how important it is that your pre-shot routine is just working and how important your pre-shot routine is. And it's actually super simple. What you do is, for example, I put the white ball somewhere, I put an object ball somewhere on the table and then I ask my training colleague to play the balls. And I'm focused and I'm watching him already. I'm basically his co-trainer. And once he pots the ball, uh, either you leave the white ball where it is and you just put another ball somewhere and you ask him to do the same thing. So he has to check the angles, he has to walk into the shot and for you, you are basically the co-trainer in this situation. So you observe your training buddy, you make sure that he's not doing any practice strokes, you make sure that he stays still. Once this ball is down, you just put another ball somewhere and put the white ball in a different position. So Mike is checking the angle, I'm checking Mike, he's not moving, perfect. So his pre-shot routine works perfectly and that's what it's all about. To increase the difficulty of the exercise, as if the exercise isn't hard enough already, is to do the same thing by just rolling the balls. By rolling the balls you add another level of difficulty because your biomechanics in your arm really have to work perfectly. If you got any twitch there or anything which is not working you will definitely not hit the ball properly and not be able to pot the ball. So walking to the shot, no practice stroke, just one time and just rolling the ball into the pocket. And to make it even more difficult you can also increase the difficulty of the shots itself. So in this case, for example, I put the eight ball right onto the rail and I put the other ball also in a quite difficult position. I'm checking if he is checking all pre-shot uh, routines which are necessary and stop him right now because in this situation he already moved his cue and tried to do it a few times just to get some practice strokes in. And that's where I jump in and say, no, that's not what we want to do here. So now we start again. I'm checking on Mike if he's doing everything properly. He's doing no warm-up strokes, no practice strokes. And he is potting the ball. And of course it makes sense to practice this exercise with your training buddy and in the best case you use video analysis. Your training buddy plays a very important role in this because he can check on you if you are still when you're down on the ball, if you have any body movement involved, if your cue is already moving and he can also see if your biomechanics are off or something similar. And video analysis helps you a lot because you can re-watch it again. You can also see your own mistakes. And another thing which is really cool in video analysis, you can play the stuff in slow motion. Now we switch the roles. Now I'm playing a couple of shots and Mike will help me to put the balls on the table. That's how the advanced version looks like. You already have your cue way backwards, but you still have to do the same things when it comes to the pre-shot routine. Meaning, you go check the angle of the object ball, in this case the nine ball. You go and try to figure out what's the right angle for you to walk into the shot. Then you grip your cue as you would grip it always. Also have the bridge hand where it is, usually always, but you already pull the cue way backwards. And then you walk into the shot and make sure that the distance between the bridge hand and the cue ball is perfect and if you feel that everything is okay you pull the trigger and pot the ball. Mike and myself are going to play one rack of nine ball just using the basic method. Just have a look and check out and try to find if we are making any mistakes in terms of our pre-shot routine or if we do any other mistakes where you think worth mentioning.
て。We really hope you enjoyed this video. We do know it's a little bit confusing and very abstract what we showed you right now. A weird pre-shot routine, but I think you will get the value out of it. Thanks so much from Mike and myself. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. Mike, you want to say something? No, he doesn't. See you in the next one.